Andrew Yang has found a new bandwagon to jump on. After missing a chance to run as an independent when he ran for mayor of New York City, he's found a new thing, which he seems to do like every few months. Yang is now calling himself an independent and has created what he's calling the forward party. Not left, not right, forward. Maybe sounds good, but it's not. It's opportunism. Yang has no true north. He's talented and he's appealing and probably well-intentioned. But he's not built to last. He's bouncing all around. Popcorn ideas and candy highs. Not real vision. Yang's tasty, like a nice short sugar high. But he won't sustain you for the fight. The forward party is not an independent party. It's a Yang party. His analysis is correct. But like so many others before him, his solution is not. Yeah, people want alternatives. Yeah, more and more people are independent. But no, Andrew Yang is not our king. He's just the latest Republican or Democrat to change their jersey. We don't want leaders and organizations created by opportunistic turncoats or major castoffs. We want leaders coming up from the farm leagues who have integrity. We want leaders who have always been independent and principled. Not self-proclaimed leaders who are riding the popularity of independence to push themselves or not very independent platforms like Yang's Forward Party. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Yang introduced this Forward Party with six core principles. That's what he called them. The core principles of the Forward Party, which is supposed to be an independent party. Number one, grace and tolerance. Sure. That sounds great. Why not? Sure. Grace, tolerance, great. Sure. Number two, ranked choice voting and nonpartisan or open primaries. Okay, great. Yeah, sure. Number three, fact-based governance. Um, okay. Number four, human-centered capitalism. Huh? Like, what the hell is that? Okay, now Yang's lost me. Five, effective and modern government. Hmm, what the hell does that mean? You're losing me even more. And six, universal basic income. Come on now. That's something lots of folks like, but not lots of independents. That's Yang being Yang, adding shit that has nothing to do with what we're here for. That's the bait and switch. That's the forward party. No, done, bye. Independents don't want Yang's forward party, and they don't want those core values. They want different core values, like not being insane or try maybe a focus on education, infrastructure, national security. Try not being partisan. Try being legitimately patriotic. Try being really independent. That's what independents want. It ain't Joe Manchin. It ain't Andrew Yang. And it ain't anything we've seen so far. So one year from the midterms and three years from the next most consequential presidential election of our lifetime, we independents have very little to hang our hats on. But that doesn't mean we're not watching. It doesn't mean we're not hungry for real leadership. It doesn't mean we're not powerful. Quite the opposite. Our power is in our independence. Our power is in our diversity. Our power is in our dissipation. The most powerful party in America is still no party at all. Stop trying to get us to join you and start listening to what we say, what we want, and where we are. We're not coming to you. You need to come to us.